This is Star Talk. Charles White. Charles, let me just say thank you for having a name that I can pronounce. Okay. Because it's my name. <laughs> Charles White says, or asks, uh, I have read articles suggesting the use of caverns that have been discovered on Mars as living areas. So my question is, what if they get there to find that they aren't the first ones there? Ooh. Would they have to... Would they have a backup plan, or would they be forced to just go ahead and destroy the indigenous life <laughs> and move forward? Well, we certainly have experience doing that, yes. don't we? Right. That there's a playbook already written on how to bust in to life that already greets you, and you have maybe if you have higher technology, you mm -hmm. just take it over. This is like humans have done this multiple times in the past, and it was never good for the for the you know the homesteaders. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yes. Even in our movies, we do that, like yeah. Avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's for, the whole idea. For example, so so it'd be uh, I'd be curious what would be living in those caves, because we have very good recon now mm -hmm. of the Martian surface. We put uh, spacecraft in orbit around Mars, and here's what's cool: you orbit pole to pole, okay, and then the planet rotates inside of that circular right. orbit. And so every time it co goes over, it, it it goes over a new swath of the planet. Right. And so it's kind of like a diagonal swirl the way you're... There's swirls, right, yeah, right. Well, like if it's perfect pole to pole, they're just vertical slices. Right. But, but the planet's spinning. Oh, the planet's spinning. Oh, yeah, so it's right. While so it's, it's spinning, so it's, it's a swirl. Diagonal. It's just slicing around. Exactly. And, and this planet spins once about every 24 hours, which is kind of cool. That is cool. That's, that's the length of Earth day. Exactly. And uh, Mars is tipped on its axis and like... Earth and mm. has seasons like Earth and ice caps like Earth. Okay, you're scaring me now. <laughs> you're scaring me because I'm I'm seeing the future of Earth and it ain't looking good. <laughs> so if there's something in the cave, it can't be. It's it's not doesn't do much wandering. We, something would have we would have seen tracks coming out of these caves. Right. We would have seen garbage tossed out the back door. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> banana peels. You know, whatever they're eating. <laughs> so sloppy Martians. <laughs> so. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd like to think that if there were some kind of creature there that we would make peace with it and study it and and I'd like to think that. But I'd I have low confidence given actual behavior of actual humans in the past. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We we don't even do that to us. So you know we're not gonna do that to a Martian. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. Uh Charles, your answer is uh we are awful. Uh, species who will destroy whatever we find on Mars. Yeah, not, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not wishing that were the case. No, I'm just asserting. Hey, past performance is pretty much an indicator of future <laughs> expectations. So, all right, cool. Let's. You know what you do if you send just scientists, they'll just be really curious now, about see, what, what the hell it is. That's the real deal. Yeah, because see, now they won't want to destroy it for the sake of preserving and studying and studying it, and 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 maybe they don't want to be studied, but that's better than being enslaved, right? right? Uh, exactly. Whatever. Yeah. So you send scientists, and we'll find out what it is. Send Donald Trump, and we'll have a condo out of the cage. <laughs> okay, exactly. So that's really what it comes down to. Right. Developers and scientists have two different goals. Right. Right. Cool. This is Star Talk.